The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. If you're building, or buying, or selling a home, the real estate crew's got news for you at the Real Estate House Party. With attorney Rick Carter. Real Estate House Party. Paralegal Kathy Holsthausen. Real Estate House Party. Come in, have fun. And comedian Tony V. Now, here's real estate attorney Rick Carter. Hey, thanks for joining us here on the Real Estate House Podcast. This is not going to be funny. (laughs) (laughs) They should have just taken the last half hour and called it a day. Oh, I'm done. I know. (laughs) I thought we had the show earlier. Tony? I'm wasted. Are you okay? Do you need Gary to get you a a coffee or something? Gary, could I have a coffee, please? Yeah, he needs a coffee. Anybody else? Uh, Sorry, Gary. No, I'm good. Also, we gotta get Tony. We've only been sitting here for a half hour, and I picked now. I'm just half noticing that he might show. need the a little over. bit of caffeine. Yeah. That's all right. He's a lot of fun on caffeine. Yeah. Zoom, zoom. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember, uh, if, am I dating ourselves if I talk about Romper Room? Mr. No. Green Jeans. Oh, no. And the, um, no, Miss, that and was Miss, I was yeah. see yeah. exactly. Rick and Mr. I Green. see Tony. Yeah. Exactly. Mr. Mr. Green, Green Jeans. No, no. That's, Captain. that's different. Whoa. Oh, that Captain, was Captain Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Oh, but yeah, that's uh, right. Romper Room was the lady with the with mirror. Right, right, right. And then I'm like, yeah. she sees me. Yeah, yeah, after yeah. every commercial, yeah. all of a yeah. sudden it was yeah. see-through. They were all freaks. And I see They all had ankle bracelets on. You kidding me? What I mean, we did, Mr. Rogers. You kidding me? You can only go to Salem, New Hampshire. We had to get approval to do this. It's going off now. I was. It's like when you go to reverse center. It's not the flashing lights from the uh, merry-go-round. It's all the uh, employees' ankle bracelets going off and the felony B charges. The People, police come and says, someone's beeping here. I said, there's 300 of us. What are you going to do? Which one's going? We only got two cars. Wait, so what happens when they have their ankle bracelet? They're supposed to be on house arrest and they start beeping when they leave the house? Or they so go out of zone. Perimeter, yeah, yeah, oh, they, they have, have a perimeter. Yeah, they have a perimeter. Yeah. I, 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 it's I had, called, I had it's a called, friend that had one on, for real. It's yeah. like they, Who did? A friend of mine, my electrician. In case oh. anybody wants to hire him. Yeah. No, he's no longer with us. But he, uh, <laughs> his so, girlfriend died in bed with him, and they wanted to put him in jail because she OD'd, and he had to wear a bracelet. So at work, he would be climbing up the ladder, and he had this big bracelet <laughs> on his ankle. I thought it was kind of funny. He wasn't really enjoying it. Yeah. No, uh, but he was, got to go to work and stuff? Yeah, they go, you know, yeah. which was nice because they were trying to put him in jail. So it's a good day when you can get him. Yeah. I went to, to, I went to, to wake. Did he, did he kill her? Or no. No. They, no. Listen. They od <laughs> you, you, you put it in your body. You own it. Yeah, yeah that's and I'm not even happens. trying to be dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, all right, I'm going to give you guys a trivia question I want yeah. you to think about. And then yeah. we get a lot of important discussions. Here. Uh, Let's yeah, hear sure it. Real estate or cars? Uh, <laughs> both. All right. You got your list. Oh, yeah. So Let's I want you to it. think about this uh, Kings, Kingsford Charcoal. You ever seen that? Oh, see oh, yeah. Charcoal briquettes. The blue, yeah, yeah the briquettes, yeah. 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 Do yeah. you know who was involved in that from day one? Henry Ford. Oh, my God. I thought that was going to stump people for a while. I didn't wow. even have time to Google that. Wow. You, you knew, knew that? that? Yes. You're good at you Sullivan. You have a crazy brain. Do you, you know a, how I know it? How, how do you know it at we, Sullivan? We covered that on Pit Life Barbecue one week. Oh. oh. <laughs> how? So I thought I was going to have a tease for a week, and all of a sudden that, he that, that was like four seconds. Do you have another one? Do you have another Do you have anything else? No, wait, that was my one. Wait. You can't have too many teases in a I got to have a backup plan. I need an explanation. How did he get involved? Do you want me to explain it, Ed, or do you want to go with it? No, you go ahead. No, no. Rick. It's your show. Right. You do it. No, no, no. It doesn't seem like that. Now, does it? <laughs> yeah, it's your show. Well, you asked a question. That was a byproduct of the car company, right? They used to have little briquettes, wooden briquettes, because that's how briquettes. the car, briquettes. 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 That's how the wood, uh, the cars were originally made, with a lot of wood products. So you put the briquettes in so the car? So that was like all like uh, surplus from the cars. Oh. So, right? Oh, um, now all of a sudden he's... He, now he's mute. Uh, I, I never heard he of this. He doesn't so, want so to show you up. It was oh, a so byproduct. Two yeah. minutes ago, cut, we had all the answers. They would answers. cut like a dashboard yeah, exactly. or something and like they'd that. they'd have a little then, briquettes yeah, yeah, left yeah, yeah. over. Yeah. And they said, why don't we compress those a little bit more and use them for tackle? For, yeah, yeah. For, so he was, a, he was way ahead of the green. <laughs> right? That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he was recycling. That's right. That's right. That's great. But now you all... He was also a racist. Right. He was also a racist. He didn't treat his employees well. Everybody was a racist. Way. I, I thought he paid his employees five dollars an hour, way more than everyone else. I thought that was a good uh, thing. Yeah, and he worked them like dogs. Right. <laughs> well, a typical business owner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't see the problem. Yeah. Sounds like true true business owner right over here. Now yeah. you get stuff don't you look done. At me like I'm <laughs> 
You make twice as much as that. No. <laughs> I know, ten dollars a day. <laughs> How's the coffee, Tony? Fantastic. See it steaming from here. Is it good? I almost I, want a cup. I don't. You guys have your show. Keep I'm on drink, my keep coffee. on drinking, oh, Tony. I'm be fine. Oh, okay. so we can only get a good half out of out of you, but it happened to be before the show. Yes, because you were in a roll before the show. You know, I. You think it just happens magically. I planned this. Oh, right? yeah. Okay. I can't be me all the time. <laughs> I know. I would drive myself nuts. No, right. you are. All, you are. Yeah. This is you. I can yeah. I can attest to that. Yeah. You're you all the time. All the time. This I isn't am. made up. I, no, no, no. Right? That's am right. I right about yeah. that? Yeah. So you put something on Facebook, Tony. Um, <laughs> yes. Some, so you were in Seinfeld? Apparently. <laughs> you were the umbrella you, guy. Yeah. 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 Somebody yeah. sent you me. You were the twirler. You know, it's one of those things. Somebody sent me a. Are we picture. yelling? Are An we old yelling? buddy. I feel like Shh. I'm not. All right. that, you that always, just... always do. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we try to be heard over each other. Uh, yeah. yeah, I did an episode of Seinfeld 20 years ago. It's no big deal. Was it 20 years ago? Well, yeah, it was wow. 20 years ago. Wow. And, and a buddy of mine that uh, works at the Borgata Hotel, which I used to work at all the time, you know, I guess took a clip off the TV or something and yeah. sent it. And so I, I resent it out saying my buddy Sandy sent me this. Yeah. And what a shit storm that started. <laughs> It's, uh, you Did know, they think you were like on a current something? Yeah, I like a current sign. Take a look at that picture. I know. I had hair and the, <laughs> it wasn't uh, gray. Uh, yeah, it wasn't plus, gray. Right. Plus, I don't want to jump in. Seinfeld's been off the air for about five years, right? Five, More. probably eighteen. No, it's but they <laughs> I mean, do reruns. Yeah. reruns. But it's, yeah, but, but you still get a residual, still get residual check. Yeah, yeah where it's like a quarter, money and a stuff. quarter, five, and then everyone's got to chime in like. You know, like, I think it's a great, like, it, like that's the pinnacle of my accomplishment. I know. You know. I know. Like, I had a guy. Don't uh, they know about the real estate house right. party? Yeah. Yeah. You're sitting at the <laughs> pinnacle yeah. right now. I had a guy go, hey, look, in one picture, you know, one of the greatest comedians of all time, the, the funniest uh, comedic actress, and a guy who once had his day 20 years ago or something like that. <laughs> you know, it's like, I didn't fucking ask for you to. Yeah, shut, that, shut, shut, shut Go. Hey, oh, no. You ever heard if you don't have Good something nice you. to say? Good for say you. It. So someone was talking. Taunting you yeah, on it? Yeah, a little bit. Like, no, uh, everybody, like, when you're sitting behind a, a screen, <laughs> yeah, right? Everyone feels like you can <laughs> yeah, oh, say yeah, whatever the hell they want. Because of the right. anonymity, and it's not like I'm going to track the guy down and punch him in the throat. Well, but if maybe, I ever see him, maybe you will. Well, we'll have some you, words. Right. Uh, you know, it's, I wasn't begging for compliments. A guy sent it to me. That's yeah. right. And, and you yeah. thought it was kind of funny. And I thought it was very funny. Right. Yeah, nice, I watched The Heat. And it's a nice picture. The Heat the other I'm day. I'm in that, too. I love that. That's my favorite movie. So other, yeah, other than the town, the town I'm in that as well. Yeah. Really, yeah. you're in the town. She's yeah. pr- I was on an airplane and watching. Was this, she's pretty? Uh, yeah. I feel pretty. I yeah, feel yeah, pretty. Yeah. She's pretty. Yeah. Something yeah. about something pretty. like that. Pretty. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. hey, I know that guy. Actually, yeah. my daughter was like, hey, that's Tony. <laughs> and I'm like, who is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've said this. I don't know if I've said it on this show, but I've said it a million times. This is what happens in any movie theater when I come on screen for a brief period of time in the clip or whatever, someone in a row in like the Revere Theater will go, hey, look, it's Tony V. And someone else will go, who the fuck is Tony V? (laughs) (laughs) You know what I mean? And that happens somewhere. Yeah, but I actually think your name, Tony V, has really gotten out there. Oh, yeah, but not really. Not really? (laughs) No, people, I get, I had a show I did a year ago. They liked me, so they invited me back. They send me the, the poster for it. Back by popular demand, Vinny T. <laughs> <laughs> and they uh, asked for me back. Yeah. It wasn't all like right, I was begging right, to right. come back. Okay. It was like, well, maybe we'll give him a different name. They won't know it's him again. You know, I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Like they got a new star in the horizon. Yeah, 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 Vinny yeah, T. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're a star to us. Uh, you're a star to Bless us. you all. Bless yeah. you all. And we talk about you like you're famous. We yes. always say, you know Tony V. You don't, we don't say this guy we know named right. Tony V. He's a comedian yeah. in Boston. We go, you know, Tony, Tony V. Tony V, right. Yeah. Like you do. I came out of my house last night. My neighbor's talking to some friends. And I was going to pick up my daughter at the airport at 11 o'clock last night. And literally, I walk out my step. There's a group of people in front of my house, the guy next door. And they go, hey, these guys know who you are. <laughs> and I go, great. Hey. Nice to see you. They're called neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> no, Good for you. They're from the, the North Shore. They know giggles. And stuff. I go, yeah, not hard to know. Yeah. Not hard to do, know you ever, do you ever get this where someone says, I, I, I golfed with you about 20 years ago down at uh, Grand, oh, all the Grand time. Links like yeah. that? And you remember do you know thing, me? Do you remember, remember that me? thing you said? <laughs> I, no. At least they're specific. Yeah, yeah. I, you got to narrow. You got to. I have people. Here's the other thing. I haven't had. I haven't had a drink since 1991. Right? Really? And wow. I have people swear up and down that we partied together three weeks ago. Yeah. You know. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah. And, we, but you know yourself. You I were go, partying yeah, with them. And yeah. I go, yeah. Yeah. yeah, nice to see you. Yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. But it, it yeah. happens all the time. Yeah. yeah. yeah back, people are weird. Back to Mr. Green Jeans. Yeah. Who's that? Listen. Why do you Sal. call him Mr. Green Jeans? This is what I asked, see, asked we're you. Ten, we're 10 minutes in. We haven't even talked real estate. I love well, this show. Why can't people be more honest? Have you ever thought about that, Sal? I, I have, because I'm going why, through a lot of it right now. Why can't people be a little do bit more honest? Do you think that it's dishonest, or do you think that they leave out facts to make it dishonest? Like, look, Which makes it dishonest. Right. Are they, <laughs> no, are they out and out lying? A, a, a crime of omission. No, that's, that's a good point, because we, we, should, we should is it, cl- is clarify it, this. Let's talk about Massachusetts. Well, there's morals, and then there's the law. Like, if, as a right. real estate agent, if you know right. something no, that's legally, you have to say it. As a homeowner... Then it's a moral Not issue. Not any morals, but sometimes it's yeah. etiquette. No. Sometimes it's etiquette. Like, I know when you closed on your house, when you sold, you left a lot of things you weren't required to sell. Yeah, I left my TVs. I left the, the yeah, brackets. Right, I left. Right, right, yeah. right. I mean, just, just All kinds of things. Just a nice My thing bar do. stools. Yeah. I've that always were really, said, really if, nice. I, if I could buy a house, it'd probably be either from you or you. It and sound, I had someone like, clean it for like $600. Yeah, yeah, I would buy it from you, day. but I know you're not selling I'm not for a while. selling. I'm you're not going You're not doing it for a while, but I know you're selling right now. But I knew they were moving in, and it was a tumultuous time for them. I didn't want them to come into a dirty house, and I wanted everything to be perfect. You're not required to clean your house? No, broom. Broom, broom clean. swept. Broom, oh, so that's broom. not that's not like oh. you could leave dirty toilets and whatnot. Different than professional. Wait, you don't sweep your toilet? <laughs> <laughs> so the house I'm buying, we go we go See, to look at it. You're perking up now. <laughs> There's dog poop on there. Gary, nice job the with bug. the coffee. Yeah. He's coming yeah. around. So, so what did you say? Well, I told the realtor. I go, you, this lady can't be letting a dog shit on the rug. I go, I'm buying Ooh. this house for a lot of money. I go, you just can't let the dog take the dog out. Right. right. And the house that we're, I, apparently I attract dogs because the house we bought, we moved in. I'm not exaggerating. There was dog crap on the rugs when we walked Are in. you sure it was dog? Could have been the homeowner. She was a little <laughs> sketchy. But Are you kidding me? And the dog was urinating in the tile in the kitchen. Yeah. It went through the grout into the plywood. I had to take the plywood down to the floor joists. No. That's a major job. Yeah. That's not something the average homeowner is going to do. Right. Who lets right. their dog so, pee in the house? I don't know. Apparently she doesn't let a dog out. Who let the dogs out? Apparently not, not her. her. <laughs> but um, wow. But yeah, it, it, I, I think a lot of people are dishonest today, and it, it's kind of it's kind of disgusting. Well, give us a for instance. For instance, uh, and again, well, we should cl- there's, there's, qualify because what you're doing is you're 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 selling actually two houses. You're buying another house. Yep. So you're seeing different. Uh, I'm all over the map. You're yep. over the map. Yep. All right, but you see. Are you feeling stressed out, honey? Um, yeah or no. I mean, yeah, I've, been, a, I've, I've been through the process, but it's it's more involved today, especially when you have kids, when you don't have like, kids. Right. Sounds like you could call 1 900 Kathy if you yeah, have a little stress. If you're feeling a little the stress. Said that. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a very, and what people yeah. forget is like when the when the loan officer is sitting with you and rattling off numbers and telling you all this stuff, what people are forgetting is we're all human and this is a big life change they for you guys. They said, said one of the most stressful things over divorce. Is moving out of your house? I, I think yeah. so. Yeah. And then buying a new house at yep. the same, like at the they, same, they, like couple actually, days or weeks. Interview people more than divorce. Uh, most stressful situation is selling the house, buying another. I one. agree. I because, saw a gun shop on the way in. And yeah, I'm yeah. Probably stop before oh. I get back to mass. We'll have to. We'll have to talk. <laughs> if somebody gave me the right price for my house, I would just walk out. So I wouldn't, wouldn't be stressing back. you at all, right? I wouldn't look back. You, I wouldn't care about no, what was in there. No, that's not true. You I have would a go, beautiful would I would family. family. i go, honey, I'm leaving. <laughs> no, no, you, <laughs> you have a great you location. You would not. You would have a really hard oh, he's time. Thinking no, about I wouldn't. It. no, I wouldn't. Really? I don't get attached to things. You've well, been there since the 90s. I, I've been you there since the 80s. You don't get attached to your house? No. The check, the check will make up for that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Will get yes. A nice check well, you have a, lo- go, a great location. Go blow your nose in a big <laughs> check. <laughs> Where would you move to, though? What's that? I know. That, that's the issue I have. It right. would be more Would you like, stay in Charlestown, Mass? I, yeah, but that, and that's why I won't sell my house. Because if I sell my house, right, yep. i got to buy where I want to be, which is still in Charlestown. Well, right. 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 That's what I mean. Which is going to cost me as much as... Yeah, so you might as well stay, stay, what, stay what where you I know. am. Yeah. Right. So, so we condolize you your house? Next move is so down for me. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, so I'm talking, that word. Six feet I'm under? talking like houseboats. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was like thinking if I like a, in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, I'm not getting buried. No, okay. No, I'm getting I'm getting. You're getting torched. If I can't have my ultimate goal in death, which is to be... The rocket? Yeah, to be... Yeah. To burn up in reentry. <laughs> like you a promised shooting to take star. us with yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let us know so when you're going. So my kids yeah. can just stand on a beach and go, there goes dad. <laughs> <laughs> that's so nice. Yeah, that's what I want. They last thought of me. <laughs> no, like Tony, I, yeah. Tony, since you brought up your own death, yeah. you know, I would never do no, that. No, please. Yeah. Kill uh, me. I, 
Keep in mind that I called dibs on the Seinfeld umbrella <laughs> <laughs> when you should, unfortunately. Right. Do you still have it? You're going to catch a lot of grief, but well. it's yours. <laughs> you still have it? I, I know right. he has it. Who are you going to give the little Jimmy yeah. or what, what yeah. was that doll? I, I did a short. <laughs> You're getting that. that. <laughs> I don't want that. Just just last week, uh, I did a short with these two guys. These guys called... Trace Gatos TV, they do these little shorts for the internet and Instagram and stuff like that. They're great kids, uh, Luke and Rob. And uh, it was a, I played a high school principal in this thing. And so we had a bunch of young kid extras. And this kid had to be 14 years old. You know what I mean? Like, was born after Seinfeld went off the air. Oh. And this kid was so enamored with me. You know, he goes, you're on Seinfeld. I did the, and he quoted the episode, and the, I go, what what planet are you from? What, do, what do you, and I, I have I have eight by tens of me that I drive in the car. Or I had, I had him, I <laughs> just did, on the on the I chance did, somebody did, wants. No, no, no. I did. Hey, what a, you mean? What I did. Mean? I did a Comic Con not too oh, long yeah. ago, so I had some pictures made up and i go why well, I, I don't always do this because i don't no one ever asked me but i have a picture <laughs> Just in I, case. I will autograph it to you if you'd like it and his he started like weeping you know and i That's go there's cool. something wrong with this kid <laughs> tony was Your that was that will noonan <laughs> <laughs> no he's 16 <laughs> it, was, it was will noonan, <laughs> that will noonan? yeah but that, yeah, that, but that, you know, that happens periodically and stuff like that. All right, so 16 minutes and 30 I have seconds. A serious, I have right. a serious question. Go ahead. I, I honestly okay. do. Go I've ahead. been thinking about this all week because I heard about it. Okay. Your mortgage payment. Mm -hmm. I, somebody put online, if you pay your mortgage over 30 years, right, it costs X amount with yeah. the interest and blah, 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 blah. But if you make what? half a what? payment every two weeks... It somehow comes down. How yeah. is that possible? Because <clears throat> the extra money that you're sending is going directly to your principal, so it's reducing the amount of interest that you're but paying on that. But it's the same amount of money in one month. No, no, no. Extra. So if you make four mortgage payments in a month, if you make five mortgage payments... In one year. No, you're saying even if you, make, if you, if you pay your same mortgage amount he's bi-weekly. Saying, he's oh. saying, say your, your, oh. your mortgage is $1,600. Yeah. If you send in eight hundred dollars every two weeks yeah. instead of the sixteen at the end of the month or the first of the month, whenever yeah. it is, that <clears throat> somehow it comes it comes down because there are extra weeks in different months. Like so, so February is a short oh, month, but like March is a lot. Instead of making twelve payments, you make end up making thirteen, you're making 13 extra 14. payments. Yeah, you make. So here's an easy oh, way right. to think about it: uh, if you have a thirty-year mortgage, yeah. And you make one additional payment a year. A year. Yeah. It drops it almost to a twenty-three year mortgage. Yep. Really? Yeah. Yes. So if you have extra money hanging around, you just oh, yeah, send I always it. Got that. Yeah, same. And people yeah. say, <laughs> and no one ever does it. Listen, at, yeah. since they opened a casino walking distance from my house, <laughs> I have no extra money. I was going to say that if you want any extra money at the casino, there's no extra money. But you're right. If you make one additional payment, so so they always say at at. Uh, Tax time when you get a rebate, you're supposed to send that in. Yeah, but, but who has extra money? Today? No one ever does. Broke. It. They're no all living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, everybody. Now is. related yeah. to yours is yours gets a little convoluted because the way you're saying every two weeks, you got to make sure your bank is set up correctly to do it that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, all you have to do is make one mortgage payment, like at the end of the at year. At the end of the year, an or extra if one. your mortgage payment's a thousand dollars, every month send in an extra hundred dollars right. to, to be applied to principal, and seven years goes off your mortgage. Yeah. See, that, that seems more doable to me. That yeah. uh, to tack on an extra hundred or two, or whatever the math is. Right, whatever a hundred. Does it <laughs> now, have to be a percentage, now, or can it be any anything amount? you want? No. You're just applying it. The more right. principal you're giving, the yeah. less less to bring. Now we do. There is one caveat. You got to make sure if you're making additional payments, you put on the memo of your check. Apply to principal. Right. You don't want to apply to next month's interest. Oh, right. I see. Right, right. right. Because the interest comes first, right? With yeah. Tax. Oh, yeah. You pay off your interest yeah. before oh, you start yeah. digging into oh, the yeah, principal. Yeah. So, yeah. so said the, that's okay. <laughs> so for the first, <laughs> like, that rule. what is it, the first five years, you're basically making yeah, yeah, interest-only payments. Right, right, right. And exactly. someone goes, well, I borrowed 230000 Why is my payoff 231 Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you, yeah, haven't, yeah. you haven't made any, any progress unless right, you have right. the mortgage for... 
any a length of time. Right, you get one of those amortization calculators online. Oh, please. <laughs> you just call me. I'll help you out, Tony. Oh, poor call Kathy. How's that? All right, so what do we got? All right, so back to disclosures. So, so everyone's so a liar. Massa- in Massachusetts, <laughs> we should we should say there's uh, there is a difference between uh, what a broker needs to disclose and what a seller needs to disclose. A broker in Massachusetts has more of an affirmative duty yeah. to disclose. So if they know something that a buyer might not want to buy this property over, they, they should technically disclose that. So if they know there's water in the basement. Yeah, let's talk about the water in the basement. If right. the if the buyer, Depends. if the, <laughs> if the broker knows that there was a flood yep. or knows that there was water in the basement and the buyer actually says, has there been any water in the basement? The broker is obligated by law, right, to, to, to disclose that. But if the buyer doesn't ask, the, the broker does not have to disclose Can it. Can we give a term that Ed Sullivan will love to write down? Yeah. Caveat emptor. Oh, I've Do you know how to that. spell that? Caveat emptor. Yeah, just the way it sounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. So, it's so, phonetic. <laughs> so, so, it's so caveat emptor. He's all fired, fired up today. K-A-V. <laughs> <laughs> so caveat emptor in, in Massachusetts or Many uh, states, but I'm follow. buying in Maine, so I'm going to hold another state. So they, I know, I they, know, which is different. Their IQ know, know. levels We're are getting yeah. to you. You, yeah. hey, <laughs> you throw around caveat emptor in Maine, oh. they're going to burn you. The state will <laughs> shut down. Yeah. yeah. So in Massachusetts, caveat emptor means for a buyer seller situation, uh, buyer beware. Yeah. It's caveat emptor. So a seller does not have to disclose as much to you as you would think. Right. In, in Mass, they have to give some lead paint disclosures. Right. For houses before '78. They'll probably have to give you a smoke certificate. They have to get a Title V uh, with a condo. You, you, now you, I gave you I gave you five stars. As a I already sent to all my. Did I already record. did I already you email you? Yeah, nice at, work. We're, we're representing Sal in a sale. Yeah. Too, and he's, oh, we are. He's Rick's getting, rep is, he's my attorney yeah. and my sidekick. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you got You're five in good stars. hands with yeah, Rick Carter. Let me ask you I, this then: If you ask. If you ask a question, do they have to answer yes, truthfully? Yes. yes. So they can't yes. lie. So you first. Your first question should always be: Is there water? Is there water in the basement? Was the basement yeah. moist, moist or is yeah damp? Please or? don't say that word. <laughs> Why is the couch floating? <laughs> now wait, now you said that there know, seemed I'm, to be ducks in the I basement. I knew he was going to say it, so I just you, yeah. you, you, you went on the yeah. There's a line, the there's a, there's yeah, a yeah, line like three uh, feet up on the drywall. What is <laughs> that? Is that was that masking tape? You guys doing a different color paint? No, but now what you were saying, I I, I totally get it, and everyone's yeah. looking at it from a different perspective. Yep. Yep. But then there's common sense. So let yeah. me explain yeah, my Let's hear it. So right. the house that I'm buying in New York, Maine, yeah. I gave them a full price offer because I didn't want to deal with because I right now everyone's doing it and things are good and I don't want to play around with 10 house. or 20 grand. Yeah. I want the right. house. Right. So full price and here's the disclosure the seller filled out. Now I understand the seller could say one thing and be wrong and it's not the realtor's fault. But then the, that's when common sense kicks in. Although – no. We'll talk about that well, in a second. One of the, the, so the I'll realtor, give you an example, but go ahead. No, but so the realtor who showed me the house was also a former builder. So when he yep. told me the roof was four years old, the first thing I said, well, I'm a builder. I'm a building inspector. I kind of know what I'm looking at. There's no way that this roof's four years old. This is an interesting twist. I haven't heard this too much. Go so ahead. So now he's like, well, that's what they told me. It's like, well, all right. Well, somebody, I could tell you the house is pink. If it's blue, it's, <laughs> it's you know what I mean? Right, so you right. got you to use right, common sense. Right, right, You clearly can tell the roof shingles. There's mold all over them. They're in rough shape. They're seven not four seven, years, seven old. years ago, the manufacturers made improvements to the roof shingles so mold doesn't grow on it. Okay. So if they made that improvement seven years ago, just based wow. on that alone, how is the roof only four years old with that excessive amount of oh, let's mold on it. it? Let's back up for a second. So he should you're, know you're that. You're glossing over some good information. No, but they so should. So seven should, years old. Or plus. Seven, seven years plus. ago, yeah. the manufacturers made changes. If you go by, you see mold all over roofs. Ed Sullivan, you writing this down? So oh, yeah. All right. With this change, and. And with this change seven years ago, if the roof's four years old, there's no way it should look like that. Right. Plus, right. just even visually, putting that right. aside, just put all that aside. Right, right. Visually, you can look at it and tell it's not a four-year-old roof. Right. So right. day one, I questioned this. Day one. They and, told me it was four years old. Yeah. It wasn't until two weeks ago, after six weeks of that being he says, in this process. Oh, you meant those shingles. Yeah. Well, this roof. It, oh, oh this it roof. turns out that the <laughs> seller said that it, it, the farmer's porch roof is four years old. Oh. Well, the yeah. other roof... Uh, and, the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the roofer who came out goes, there's three to five years left. I go, well, that's just an estimation. No one can tell you exactly. You can right. get an idea, but yeah. is it three? Is it five? But I should have a 26-year life left if it was right. a new Four roof, years right? ago, right. So yeah. now I got to change a roof in two years at 20 grand. 
Right, right. right. And I gave you full price offer. So right, I yeah. ended up getting them down 17.5 on the house. I compromised. So after you signed the contract? After we signed. So See, I got another in 17, Massachusetts, five. that would never happen. Right. That Why? would never because happen. Because you have to do a deal. home inspection. Well, right. I, I did. My, I was the home inspector. Well, that's... A, and then okay. I also found a hidden pump behind the set. So there was a pump they put in when they built the house in the concrete floor that was clearly dry. Right. And then I found a pump in the back of the house, which the they did. Pump. They did say they got a little water. I was waiting for you to jump in. <laughs> but this pump, this pump has no access. There's, you can't even see it. You know, I actually peeled the carpet back on a set of stairs with no riser, and I could see a pump. And I could see hoses coming out and going outside. Some pump. The wires are running through a wall. It wasn't even to a G. It wasn't even wired properly. So now, and you're stepping on an aluminum threshold. So you, so now you got water on the floor. You got an aluminum threshold. Someone could be standing on. You are like the, with the worst pump. buyer. And, it's, <laughs> and, and you got a one ten. You got a one ten line running through I'd be a drywall. From you, no. But just I know no, my job. I know I, that's it. that's what, so that's what you, we mean. So now you have a high voltage pump running. I mean, it takes less than an amp to kill a human being. Sure. This is this is a fifteen amp motor running through a drywall, plugged into an outlet that's not even GFI. It's sitting on a concrete that floor. Did you water, unplug it? And you got aluminum. Why don't you just fry me now and take my check? <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, what the hell's going on over you here? Know, I'm not going to buy a sandwich without consulting self. I know, I know, right? yeah, I know. Yeah. All the window sashes are destroyed. I thought, what did you guys wake up and gnaw on the windowsills at night or what? <laughs> Why? What happened? I don't Water know, just, in the, the windows, the house is only 28 years old. It looks like like Chewbacca hit the windows every night. I don't know what the hell happened. So, <laughs> all right, let's. <laughs> inside or outside? And then I got dog shit on the rug. I mean, that, all you right, let's pick Let's talk about up. the time Wait, frame. Wait, you have to pay Sal. extra for that? <laughs> it's, it's, it's so high. It's like Sal, a coffee time table. frame. You've already signed the contract. You've already given your deposit money. That's You've not going to happen. You've already done your yeah. home, home inspection. And what, did you decide to go back in and start looking at things? No, I did this during my home inspection. Okay. I, oh, okay. I gave okay. her a list of things. That okay, I, that makes and sense. And you know what? I said, yeah. I don't want anything back. I said, I don't want a dime back. I want the house as we agreed, because I'm a person of my word, and you should be too, with the four-year roof. I don't want money back. Put a four-year roof on it, and yeah. we're done. Wow. Yeah. Because that's what you told me it had. Yeah. I, yeah. I could have probably hit this lady for another 15 grand. Yeah. You know, I'm not trying to beat the lady up. Her husband just died. I just want to get in the house, but I, I want what I was I agreed to buy. And you want her yeah. dog to pretty, stop pooping on the rug. It's pretty simple. <laughs> yeah. And again, I could go, and we opened up the stove. The kitchen was just remodeled. The stove's got to be thrown <laughs> not away. Asking for it's much. disgusting. I even say, the lady that hasn't cleaned the stove since the, the kitchen's been put in. Yeah. My wife's yeah. like, the stove's got to go. I mean, it's disgusting. You got right, to right, keep right. your house clean. Right, right, right. I'm still, yeah, pro but I, you know, and the guy bought my house. After the guy bought it, I said, the railings aren't safe on the back deck. I want to replace all the decking and railing on the, where was on the, the Where was the deck? This is in my house. In the rear. In the, 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 the deck in the rear. <laughs> but now this guy already bought my house. Uh, didn't even have to do it. My wife's like, why, well, why you're you nice. do that? I don't know how we get any work after this. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't need to. Well, you know why we get work? Because we're juvenile. There is a deck oh, in the just say rear. It, just say Honesty. It. On, you got to be honest it. in society. Ed Sullivan, be honest. We're juvenile, I guess, at some point. I think so. Yeah, all right. All but right, we're so juvenile Sam, honest. You yeah, right, right. We're honest. How about that? We talked about this last week. How about the person that goes in? You know, I look at your house. I'm buying your house. And I, I love your chandelier in the dining room. And it's coming with the house, but then your wife really wants the chandelier, and that she takes it. She takes it and places puts a cheap chandelier in its place. Yep. That so should you, be in a disclosure. Should be in the disclosure. Yes. Anything absolutely. Of, anything affixed to the property. That's a fixture. It's, it's attached. Right. Right. Now let me ask you a question because this happened to us. Yeah. I had a very nice refrigerator. Yeah. Uh, like a high end refrigerator, yep. and um, two weeks before the closing, it died. The one you bought or sold. Sold. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't putting the same high end refrigerator yeah. in because we were giving them the refrigerator. Yeah, it was right. like, you well, know, that's what I mean? a yeah, 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 right. Yeah. And so we put like a like refrigerator, but probably a thousand less. So this is what from I from an do. RV. It was three feet tall. <laughs> a lot of space. Yeah. About you me. couldn't tell. You would never be it able to tell. It was nice because you could put a flat screen TV there too. <laughs> you would you never know, be able to tell. Your buyers watching it. the show. They're writing all no, this down. No, right. you know, no, but, yet, no, but the Yeti is. cooler is the best cooler you can possibly it is. purchase. It is. Do you, you don't have need one? a refrigerator. It'll keep shit. If the power goes out, your milk is still forty degrees. I have the best Yeti cooler. I like leave leave. Ice in it, ice and cocktails in it on a Sunday. Yeah. And I come yeah. back on Friday to my fresh house cocktails. Still cold. Yeah, it's I don't know freezing. She, I don't know cold. where she got that Yeti cooler, but a very, I got it from a very bot, smart, my boss. Probably, smart move. Probably yeah. smart in move. lieu of a bonus. <laughs> yeah. Don't. Hey, leave it at that. So, all right. <laughs>
For every 500 closings, you get a free cooler. <laughs> In one every... hand, I have a check. In the other hand, I have a Yeti cooler. Which do you want? It was really nice. There's cocktails in the Yeti. <laughs> it was a really nice gesture. All right, right? So my family nice. loves it. All right. That's that's yeah, high yeah, end. Thank you for yeah, that. The high end. So yeah. we're jumping all around, which I'm shocked about. Yeah. But, like, like that's so awesome. we've also talked about this a little bit, but people should be a little bit more cognizant of uh, – uh, permits that have been pulled on a piece of property. Because, again, a seller might not disclose that right off the bat, and brokers might not know about it, so they, they don't give the affirmative disclosure. And what are they going to disclose? Like, like sometimes a seller doesn't even know what they're Correct. supposed to be Correct. disclosing. So if you're a buyer, you better all go right. figure well, out let's all... Jump, right. Let's jump to that point, yeah. then. There's a so lot. a broker should not rely on what a seller tells them. Correct. And I'll give you an example. Some seller told uh, their broker... They were in Business B District, okay? Yeah. What is Business B? Good point to both your your dismay, you know. Yeah, you, if you're not looking closely enough, I have my frow. <laughs> this, this I, I have a, look of a rumpled brow His right now. His eyes are shut. <laughs> right. His eyes are shut. And your, to your question, uh, there, there is no such Business B District But in what town. is a Business B? Well, it could be how it's zoned. So you in other words, yeah. you can have a commercial property. Uh, they they do have them in some towns. You have a commercial bar. You could either have mixed use or whatever. Yep. And, and Sal could probably tell us a lot about it. But the point is the seller told the the uh, the broker. Oh, and the broker ran with it the without looking, ran with it. looking into it. Exactly. Exactly. So uh, And then, of course, there's a purchase sale that comes out, says, all right, and there's, you're buying in an as-is condition. We, we don't verify anything. The court said no to all that. First of all, seller, you, didn't, you, you shouldn't have done that. Broker, you should not rely on what the seller told you. And third, the purchase sale that says, you know, there's always this as is language yeah. all over it, that doesn't get you out of this. So, a lot of points to that. A broker should not rely on a seller. So, what happened? Broker lost big time. So, she, she got sued by got the sued. seller or the buyer? The, the buyer, buyer yeah. Okay, and yeah. what happened to the seller? Uh, the Nothing? seller, not as much. Okay. Not as much because it's harder to go after the seller because they're, they're not in the business of, of then, right. they, selling. They, 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 they right. gave okay. their... The broker needs to do their homework. Right, right, right. So back to the permits. Yeah, so permits should... I, if I was a buyer, I'd be calling town hall all the time. Well, you know what else I've seen um, like a, on MLS or, you know, advertisement? Yeah. Um, a certain school district. That's a great one. Right. Okay. I knew by reading it that it was not in, in that, that school, school district, district right. for elementary school no, that's in a my great town. One. If I was a broker, I would never put the school district in. But the thing is, there are, there are crazy mothers in the, ta- in the town I'm referring who to. Who care about it. Who, that I'll, is exactly why they're moving why to that they, town. But all you do is put in there, call superintendent of schools. Here's a great expression that real estate people use. Uh, be the source to the source. Yeah. And not the source. So, in other words, if school district is very important to you, call the uh, superintendent of schools as opposed to me telling you that it's in this. That's in the, it's right. In this. Well, the, well, the ad, ad was wrong. I I, could right. t- I knew right, right. exactly where the house was, and I knew that right. it was in the right. wrong school right. district. Right. Because the broker was lazy and didn't do their homework on that. Right. And so I'm the broker saying, can get sued on that. Yeah. Absolutely. A broker can get sued. Say say someone says, oh, "I want to put in a pool." Do you have any soil studies done on the property? Yes, matter of fact, we did. About six or seven years ago, we did it for the same reason. Here's our soil studies. They take it. They buy the house. Perfect. Bring it to the pool company. Here's the soil studies. Uh-uh. That was six or seven years ago. Right. It doesn't work doesn't, now. It's yeah, it completely, could change. The, you know, the topography's well, all different. They should not get involved in things that they really don't need Correct. to as well. You know, step, step back a little well, bit. Well, yeah, yeah, step back or tell the buyer to go, like, if you want a soil study, do it. You, you do can. It. You can. You we'll, do we'll give you access to the property right. before right. the closing, right. Right. before exactly. pre- pre- purchase exactly. and sale, exactly. or absolutely. whatever. Right. Put it on the buyer too. Right. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I. Uh, absolutely. Um, a broker said once to a buyer, "Don't worry about it. Just have a handyman fix it," which implies, you know, a low cost job turned out to be, you know, fifteen thousand dollars. They said, "What do you mean? Just have a handyman do it?" End up being fifteen. She got sued on that. Right. Well, and the best was, I think I've talked about this before, but we were doing a closing, and um, they couldn't get the the smoke certificate. The fire oh, department yeah. couldn't go out until like um, day of closing. Yeah. So or day after closing. So they said, "Can you guys close this in escrow, and then we'll give you the smoke certificate tomorrow?" And we're like, "Nope." And uh, good thing we said no. Um, because when the fire department went in, it was, was um, well, being sold as a, fi- a five-bedroom house. Thing, yeah, they said 
you can't have this fifth bad ro- bedroom in the attic. Well, two. They lost two bedrooms. They lost two rooms. Right. Right. So, yep. so, so from a they had to hundred dollars like the whole this whole section of the house. It was a what like a fifty thousand dollar problem. Yeah. Well, it was a fifty thousand dollar reduction in what they thought the. But most price people was. know that. I, I mean, I've been doing this for thirty years. Most people know they need permits. Most people do work without them, or they take a gamble. Then when they go to sell it, they they run into these problems. But they the place, buyer didn't know it. No, the, the buyer. buyer, but the seller, the sellers know. Yeah, it, it, and my, they hold their breath. My next door neighbor, four houses down. I'm not going to get a, a cop. Came to me to do some work. No, no, but they, they listen. If John you're a person, if you're a, but if you're I know a person, where Sal lives, if you're I'm a person, if you're, houses. if you're a person of authority, and you know, and you and you reprimand people breaking the law, you should obey, uh, obey it yourself. Of course, yeah, yeah. Came to me, wanted me to talk to me about doing work because everyone sees me working on my house. I go, yeah, give me a call when you if you want something. Decides to do a sunroom on on his own. Gets divorced. This is all like within the last six months. So now he's doing it with no permits. The footings had no inspections. I'm actually working in my house yesterday, and the building inspector stopped by because I know him. Yeah. And he said, ah, I just went and inspected this guy's job. He had no permits. We made him pull a permit. We made him fix some stuff. Some stuff we let him get away with. But so now the, now the new seller buys the property. He goes, we never checked the footings. So now you're, so you didn't check the footings. They might not be down four feet. So that you might not have frost protection. The building could heave. So who who uh, who pays the cost on that? The buyer. Right. So again, because this someone did a job without a permit, and they knew they needed a permit. This People is why know. the wife left them. And the yes. same thing. She and knew no. he was supposed to do it. And this is the same thing with the smoke detectors. I already gave you my Title Five. Yeah, I know. And my smoke. I gave you five stars. Three Sal, weeks before you. closing. I know. Everyone waits to the last minute, and then they wonder why the fire department's not going to come down with balloons and a six pack on the day of the closing. <laughs> right. yeah. Or if they do come down with balloons and a six pack, and there's there, a lot of changes. There could be um, hardwired problems. Yeah. Yep. Or yep. they have to go out and buy new smoke detectors, and then they have to have them in, find someone to install them, and then the, the fire department has to come back. You're talking a week. Ma- the, you even, know? Even, I spent six hundred dollars on smoke detectors yeah. and carbons. Yeah, you need a smoke carbon combo or a, a carbon on every level. You need them from ten feet from the bedroom. Right. You know they need to be photoelectric if they're twenty feet from the bathroom and kitchen. It's a serious how do, how thing. Do people and know if I'm wrong. You could go to the same fire department, get two different guys, yeah. and have two different strategies yeah. on where you're supposed to be putting those smoke detectors, yeah. right? Right. Yeah. So you're right. To, both, to everyone's point, get that done early. Absolutely. Because, you know, why delay the closing with the new trig guidelines, which we'll talk about at a later show. There's a tease for you. Well, you Trigs. know, we're already, we're already, we already out of time. We, yeah, we're we're we've been around, around for 16 know, minutes know, before we get know, into anything. I know, I know. This is idea. what happens. I know, I know. So, Sal, we might have to have you back. You, well, I, I, there was more stuff to talk about that was critical stuff. Then you're going to have to come maybe back. Maybe I'll come back. Will you when come you, back, When are you selling? Look, I actually made, I made a list. When, when have you quit another job and you can come back and be available? When are you selling? Um, well, which, right now, tentatively, August 5th. And then when are you buying? August 5th. Oh, you yeah, same day. And that's what I want, we, electronic transfer us. Now I'm moving out of state, so I, I got to have all those funds transferred. Yeah. You, when you're doing yeah. closing in one day, you, you got to go with money. Right. Yeah. So well, you, where's, that, where's they can, that go? They, we'll they wire. can wire it we'll wire. to your to current it, bank account. To your closing attorney. Bitcoin. Or your closing attorney. Be careful of wire fraud. Well, the mortgage guy told me not to get an attorney. How bright's that? Oh, that's, yeah. he probably told you not to get a home inspector either. You would have been down 20 grand. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. No, no, no. And then I we'll love be, the end of that Then show. we look forward to being invited <laughs> up to your house in York. That's it. I'd love to go to York. Yes. Thanks for joining us here. I'm exhausted. Woo. We've had two hours of I show. I need a nap. Oh. Yeah, this is. Uh... Unfortunately, they only taped about 38 minutes of it because the first hour was awesome. All right, say Thank bye. Thank you, Kathy Otaza, Tony B. Bye. Bye bye. Sal. <laughs> Sal. Thank you, Mr. Renaissance Man. We off? We done? We're done. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.